Hi, welcome. I'm Adam. I'm a designer for LEGO Super Heroes. Hi, my name is Casper Kleiner. I'm a graphic designer in LEGO Super Heroes. And we brought you today the 1960s Batcave. It features uh, a whole bunch of really cool stuff, but we should begin with the new minifigures and the new prints. Casper will walk you through this. This set, we had a lot of cool minifigures. We have, of course, Batman, and he has his, uh, for the first time, decorated cow, and he have, have some uh, 2K decorated uh, legs. And you will also get him as Bruce Wayne, and you're gonna get Robin, and uh, you're gonna get him as Dick Grayson also. And then you're also gonna get Alpha and the Penguin, and you're gonna get the Catwoman, the Riddler, and you're gonna get the Joker, who's my favorite in this set. And the cool part about the Joker is that the actor who played uh, the Joker, he didn't want to shave off his mustache, so he just painted it over every time he was in the TV show. And another cool decoration we have in the set is this wallpaper. And uh, the cool thing about that is that you can take the bricks and put them on top of each other, and uh, they're gonna connect the deco, but you can also do it like this on the side, and you can do it like this. So it's all connects. The decorated element goes 16 times in our Wayne Manor section of the model. And the two portraits? Yeah, the two portraits of uh, Martha and Thomas Wayne. And I tried to make them look a little old and even a little bit scary. And then we also have the telephone, which has uh, also a new sticker. And uh, we have the Shakespeare bust. It, of course, tilts back. And then there is the red button. And if you press the red button, you can open the secret doorway to the bat poles. And um, if you press right here, voila, our heroes are down. And um, then there's the next section, which is the bat computer with a whole bunch of uh, modern equipment. And they're all with new stickers that Casper made. And I had to look at a lot of reference to get all the the stickers right and uh, that was that was fun that was uh, also kind of uh, hard work because there's not a lot of clear pictures to get all the references i can see that catwoman has broken into the bat cave <laughs> um, then we have the third section which is the smallest one and um, <clears throat> this is the entrance to the bat cave on top of it we have the uh, bat copter and it's have a decorated dome and also this one has some big stickers that goes right here for the helipad. We also have the bat lab and uh, we have a light detector with uh, a true and false. Except for that, we have the 1960s motorcycle, the bat cycle, because you can never have enough vehicles in, in, in a bat cave. And last but not least, uh, we have the maybe most important thing. Um, it's the 1960s Batmobile. Na, 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 Holy moly, Batman, that's cool. Uh, what does it have? It has some cool decorations and play features, but it has some one by one uh, bat logos on the top. And then uh, it's got the trunk for uh, all your bat stuff. And um, it's got the uh, shooters. And it, of course, sits um, both uh, Batman and Robin. In my opinion, this is like the coolest thing ever. It took us three years to have it in a set. And now it's the time. So there it is, the 1960s bed cave. Yeah, and I really hope you're gonna enjoy this set. It was really fun to do. Yeah, it was a really fun to design and I can't wait to see what's next and um, see you next time. <laughs>